Three giant pandas, once featured at the Smithsonian National Zoo in Washington, D.C., are being chartered back to China, marking an end of more than 50 years of panda diplomacy. One America's Katie Smith has more. Pandemonium erupts as China moves to take back their pandas gifted to the U.S. back in 1972. Beijing's recent move to not renew contracts at Washington, D.C. Zoo appears to be a political one. Georgetown professor on U.S.-China relations, Dennis Wilder, pointed out why this could be due to China being upset with the Biden administration. Now, the Chinese are angry with us. They're angry over the semiconductor restrictions, the number of sanctions that the Biden administration has placed on Chinese individuals, um, problems China is, have now getting visas to the United States. So it could well be possible that they're trying to send a signal. The tension has found its way into the Senate, where Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman gave his two cents on the matter. And let me say, I hope many of our colleagues agree the Chinese government and other U.S. adversaries should own zero, zero agricultural land in our country. I believe that. I mean, they're taking back our pandas. You know, we should take back all their their farmland. Beijing currently lends out 65 pandas to 19 countries, and several are set to send their loaner pandas back as well. Singapore, Tokyo, South Korea, and the Netherlands will return their pandas when their contracts expire. Katie Smith, One America News. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.